Quentin's poor. What? Tyler got into a road accident. Tell me, Scott, is she okay? Where are you? I panicked while talking to my brother on the phone. She's okay. Tyler's with us. No need to come. No. I'm on my way. I'm coming over now. After receiving their location on the EMAP, I stepped up the accelerator while dialing Kurt on the phone to ask him for a favor. Kurt, can you please pick up Freya in the jewelry store? Tyler is in trouble, so I'm on the road to go to her. What the fuck, man? You left Freya in the store all by herself. She's your fiance. How could you? Tyler has Lucian and Scott. At least you should have dropped Freya off at her house. I know. I know that, but Tyler needs me. She's in an accident for crying out loud. I couldn't hold back my frustration. And Freya doesn't need you right now. Man, your engagement party is coming. You should be with her instead of going to Tyler. Go back to Freya. Let Scott and Lucian go to Tyler. I don't wholly consent to this marriage. I screech. Kurt, I'm really in a hurry. Please give me your word that you will pick her up and drive her home safely. He sighed on the line before I heard some rustling of sheets. Of course. I'd go pick her up. I'm not as heartless as you by leaving her on her own there. Freya doesn't deserve someone like you as her husband. Ignoring his remark, I breathed a sigh of relief. Thank you, Kurt. After almost 30 minutes, I parked outside Scott's flat, where he said that Lucian and Tyler were staying for the night. Tyler, babe, what happened? Are you okay? I immediately propped down to the floor beside the couch where Tyler is resting. She reeked of alcohol, which is her major weakness. Her body can't handle alcohol. When she's drunk, she barely can hold herself together. That's why I have to be there for her. I gently caressed her face. Tyler, babe, I'm here. Are you feeling well? She opened her bloodshot eyes. My heart sank to the bottom. It pains me more than ever to see her in this miserable state. I turned to Scott, who's on the other side of the sofa drinking a soda. What are you doing? She's supposed to be in the hospital. Lucian already took her there. Don't worry. She'll be okay. You can go back to Freya now. He answered sarcastically, and straining myself from punching his goddamn face. I scooped up Tyler in my arms. Come on, I'll take you to the infirmary. Don't touch me. She pushed me away and retreated back to her seat sulking. Why are you here? Have you broken your engagement with Freya? No, but... Then you have no business being here with me. Leave me alone. No, I refuse to leave you. I am also your mate, Tyler. I care for you. Leave me alone. Care for me? She laughed bitterly. If you really do, then break off your engagement with that woman. That's the only time that I will believe that I really matter to you and you love me. Scott, please make him leave now. I don't want to see him. Scott stood up and whacked me on my back. Quint, I suggest you leave. Can't you see she's still hurting? Let her be for now. Respect her decision. No, I'm not leaving. Tyler, please, let's talk, babe. She doesn't want to see you, Quentin. Lucian came in from the kitchen. Leave now or suffer the consequences of forcing yourself to our mate. I don't want to surrender because I really wanted to be here with her. But what good would it be if she doesn't want me around? My brothers were right. I should respect what she wanted. Okay, okay. I said in resignation. My fists curled so tightly that my nails started digging into my flesh. We'll leave now. Please take good care of her. You don't have to tell us that. Scott uttered and waved me goodbye. Freya's pavio. I'll buy this, I said looking at a blue diamond ring, that I will give Quentin as his engagement ring. I could have called my mother to send me a chauffeur, but I don't want her to think badly of Quentin, so I waited for someone to pick me up, as he instructed. I also took my time looking around to choose a ring for him. Even though I know he will likely object to the idea, still, I will push through my luck. You got an eye for jewelry, miss. Freya, I'm sure your fiancé will love it. Sherlin said from my side, I bite my lip in doubt. Really, I sure want to hope he'll like it. I'm sure he will not just like it, missus. Freya, I can see that Mr. Black will love it. I'll pack this now for you. Thank you so much, and with the bag on my lap that I held closer to my heart. I prayed that Quent would accept and like my choice of ring for him. While I sat there waiting for someone who would pick me up, my mind was on Quentin and Tyler. Deep inside, I'm worried for her. She may not have replied to any of my calls and texts, but Tyler will always be my best friend. 
Freya, Freya. Hey, Kurt. I smiled at Quentin's brother, stood up, and fixed my dress. He might have called him to get me home. Quentin called me to pick you up. On his behalf, please accept my apologies for leaving you. He's not in his right mind for doing this to you. I waved my hand at him to keep him from apologizing. Oh, no need. I sincerely understand his reason. Kurt shook his head in astonishment. Wow, you're so understanding considering how my brother acted like a douchebag. Freya, how about you come with me to a party to compensate for Quentin ruining your day? It'll be fun there. You'll meet new friends. Come on. I hesitated for a second, but Kurt was so good at convincing me that I found myself saying yes. Nice. You'll surely have fun there, Freya. Don't worry. Trust me. I'll take care of you. Oh, thank you. That was all I could manage to say before he pulled me into his sports car. Kurt took me to an engagement party of his influencer friend, Clara, which was held at a beach. All kinds of food and alcohol are flowing. The sounds from a DJ are blaring, and the atmosphere is so wild that I feel like I'm a gate crasher. Everyone is dancing, drinking, and talking to people. Some were even petting on the side. This felt more like a club rather than a simple party. I hugged myself. I feel so out of place because I'm not used to this kind of party. If not because of Kurt who convinced me to come, I would have straight gone back to home. My friends are cool and very accommodating. They'll love you, Freya. You should go out and meet lots of people too. This world is more than just Tyler and Quint. Come on, I'll introduce you to them. Pulling me to a bunch of girls hurtling on the table, Kurt hugged her friends who looked curiously at me. Guys, meet Freya. Freya, this is Clara and Amelia. This is Freya, Quentin's fiance. Hi, Freya. It's nice to meet you. Welcome and enjoy the party. Hi, hello, Clara. Nice to meet you, too. I returned her wide smile and shook her hand. I'm Amelia. I've heard so much about you, girl. Kurt said his brother found a very ideal wife to be. I can definitely see. Thank you so much. I shook their hands and exchanged pleasantries. I was pleasantly surprised by their reaction. I thought I would be met with hostility given that our circle already heard about our engagement and the issue with Tyler, but Kurt was right. They are friendly, really, really friendly. Excuse me, Freya. I'll just go to my friends over there. Will you be okay here? Yeah, of course. Go on. I'll be all right here. Thank you. I'll be right back. Amelia, Cara, please take care of our dear Freya. No worries. We got her. Amelia answered and locked her arm on mine. So, Freya, when's the wedding? Carla teased me when there's only the three of us. Blushing, I mentally checked if there's already a definite date we had agreed. No exact date yet, but it's the soonest according to our parents. Great. Welcome to the world of married couples in weeks to come. Oh, excuse me. I forgot that I have to go find my boyfriend. Need to tell him something. Carla left us, so we decided to go grab some food on the buffet. Frey, I'll just get drinks for us. Okay, I'll be waiting on the table. I returned to our spot and ate silently. The feeling of being an outcast came back when I watched the guests talking and laughing with other people. I just can't do that. It takes a while for me to warm up to a person. Oh, so the snake is here. A woman in a mini skirt and tube top just sat beside me without asking for permission. Her brows are raised, her cheeks are red, and she reeks of alcohol. Oh, so the snake is here. Hey, you're Freya McKenna, right? The infamous boyfriend stealer. What you what? I stuttered. Who is this woman? I looked around to search for Kurt or Amelia, but they were obscured by the crowd from me. Don't play innocent. You're famous for stealing your own best friend's boyfriend. Everybody knows you here, and you still had the guts to come and show your face. You? Are you that low? What did you do to him, though? Did you sleep with him? Did you suck his dick, bitch? Both deeply disturbed by the things that came out from her mouth and dumbfounded by some level of truth in her words, all I could do was to bow down to hide my face that's already red in embarrassment from the scene that she's making. I can't look anywhere for fear that somebody is watching us. 
Cat got your tongue, whore. She continued to provoke me. What the fuck was your problem, Lily? Amelia came to my rescue. How could you say those things to Freya? They were arranged to be married by their own parents. Freya did not steal anyone's boyfriend. It's not like they had a choice. It's tradition, so they're obligated to do what they're told to do. You know what? You're the stealer here, bitch. Attention, stealer. Lily rolled her eyes at us before going away. Amelia cupped my face, worried about me. That's Lily, the self-proclaimed mean girl. Don't mind her. Don't let her words get to you, Freya. You are not doing anything wrong. Come on, let's just drink. Let's drink the night away. She gave me a shot glass of whiskey and clanked her glass with mine. I hesitated for a bit. Lily's words rang into my head, and it pierced my heart knowing that there is half-truth in there. I don't drink, but tonight will be an exception. I'm too stressed to pass off the drink. Amelia is right. I should just drink this night away. With that thought, I put the glass on my mouth and drink it bottoms up. Quentin's Paul. What? Kurt didn't drop off Freya to her house. Why didn't I know this? I asked my sister Lila, who's lying on the floor, her eyes glued on her phone. I just got home and was about to call Kurt to ask him when Lila told me. Because you're too busy with Tyler. Even so, I specifically told him to pick Freya and return her home safely, not to bring her to a beach party where she knows no one there. Relax. There's Kurt. She knows him. Hey, hey, Quint. I snatched the phone from her hand and answered the phone. I could strangle his neck at this instant. What are you doing? Why did you bring Freya there? What the bump of fuck is this, Quint? Hey, man, we were just having time. I, if, oh, only you could see Freya. Damn, she knows how to have fun. Are you drunk? I noticed when he can't properly pronounce words. Do not drive, you stay there. I'm going to get her. I retrieved my jacket and keys and headed for the door. Hey, my phone? Lila came after me and stopped me beside my car to get her phone. Quint, Kurt sent a video. She showed me the screen, and boy was I shocked to see the sweet little Freya dancing on the mini stage with boys around her. She's obviously drunk judging by how she smiled at the man. Her hair is disheveled and her pretty little black dress has knots all over it. I swallowed the lump on my throat. I could feel my head growing in anger and something that I can't put a name into. Where are you going? I will get Freya and I will kill that Kurt. I hollered before getting in the car and driving away at an impossible speed.